one devlog every day. Who didn't sleep for four days? Going to do the whole UI this huge bag. There are more components that are missing. It's impossible to make an NFT ticketing platform in just 14 days. The app is ready. To create your event, just visit futuretickets.xyz and the process is extremely simple and totally free. You just go on the first page, you scroll, you put a title like uh, my birthday party. Yes, and then you describe your event. Come and let's eat cake at my place at 8.30 tomorrow whatever you pick an image let's put this image how many tickets you want 50 tickets i have a lot of friends for three hours uh it's free i'm putting my email address you have to be an approved organizer to create uh, an event and i'm and i'm doing this because the platform is still in beta but just leave a comment or reach out to me on social media and i'll give you access it's like nothing so we publish the event and as you saw, we haven't done any username password at all. We just use our email. The way that login works is you get an email with a link that you click and you log in automatically on the platform. Your event becomes part of the blockchain. We can even see here the transaction that is pending. If you refresh, it's success. So here's your event, IPFS metadata. You can see that you have zero tickets and this is your dashboard page. This is the page that the organizer sees. But let's invite some guests. Um, so let's invite some guests. What we do, let's open a new tab. If the guest is already logged in, they will see join the event. And by pressing this button, they will say, by pressing this button, they will see their NFT. Again, minting in progress. And here it is. It's actually an NFT. It's already minted and as an NFT. We can hear here the, the transaction. Here's the transaction of the NFT. You can also see it on OpenSea. Here it is. With the description. And everything right here. And you'll see that currently the this nft this nft ticket is not under my custody it's under the custody of the platform and we'll see how we can move it under our custody and you know we can do whatever we want we can tra trade it online literally we can do whatever we want now that we have in our possession our nft we can share it to more people and what we can do we can check in if we check in a qr code comes up and this is the QR code that you show or to people when you arrive at the event. They scan it and after they scan it, they will go to a page where they can approve your tickets uh, or, or maybe the ticket has, has been scanned before. It's like a QR code that they will let you come in. As an administrator, you should be able to see, as an administrator, you can see that this guy logged in, uh, no wallet, I haven't checked in and the date that this happened and now we have one of the 50 tickets claimed. But let's take a look what happens when I don't have, uh, when I'm not logged in. So when you share this link to anybody that is not logged in, they just have to put their email address, blah.com. Blah and what will happen the moment they try to join the event, they will get a link, they will click it, and automatically they will log in back to the platform. The NFT will be minted automatically as it happened, as you saw happening before. But let's see a little bit how, how the QR code works. You press check in and you can see the QR code. You can save it, um, you can do whatever you want. When you arrive at the event, the organizer will use the camera app they have on their phone you know the standard one and they will scan this uh, qr code uh, they will be redirected to a page like this and they will be able to check you in 
That means anyone that is not the organizer won't be able to use that ticket. That ticket is only for you and only the organizer could check you in. Let's see, I am the organizer. Let's check us in. Perfect, we got checked in. If we go again to that address, we'll see that the ticket has already been used. And if we go to our dashboard, we will see that now this person has been checked in. So what happens if I want to transfer the custody from the platform to my own wallet because I want to trade the ticket, I want to do things with my ticket. The way it works is you go to your ticket, you transfer to your wallet, you put your, you put your wallet address, transfer to wallet, transfer in progress, we can see it happening here. And if everything worked, and if everything worked, we should be able to see now on OpenSea that someone else, someone else owns that ticket. That someone else, of course, it's, it's me, it's my, it's my wallet. So what happened with this platform, what we saw today is that how we created an NFT event in literally five seconds by using only our email address, how we managed this event, we can see people that checked in and some other information, how we shared the event to other people, how other people can buy the ticket just uh, with their email addresses, how they can check in, with the ticket to the event and what happens after the check-in that's all obviously there are going to be more versions uh, more upgrades coming to the platform like whoever checked in they can have airdrops you can airdrop them coins nfts and what have you and just subscribe to the channel follow me on social media and let me know if you need to see anything else thank you have a great rest of your day yeah.